Hey guys, it's your girl Makiba, AKA Why Not Keep, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a natural, super easy to follow makeup tutorial that will have you ready for anything. So I personally live a super active lifestyle. I work out five to six days a week. I go to wellness and fitness events, and I always need makeup that can kind of keep up with your girl, you know what I mean? So today we're gonna to be using the Revlon Color Stay Collection. It's long wearing, which means it's meant to keep up with us. <laughs> so let's get into this tutorial. All right guys, so I've already done my eyes, just one simple shadow, liner, and mascara. Today we're gonna to really focus on the face, the brows, and the lip, because that's really what you need to be ready for anything. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using the Revlon Color Stay Makeup in Cappuccino. Now this one's the Combination Oily. They do have two different formulas. The other one is normal to dry, but I find personally that the Combination Oily works really well for me. As well, this is a long wear foundation, 24 hours. I've used it a bunch of times, and guys, it really holds up throughout the day. All right, so I'm gonna be using the Revlon Blending Sponge with the makeup, and we're just gonna spot treat. So you guys see how I have like hyperpigmentation here, like on my nose, like around here. Those are the spots that I like to hit first because I like to go and make sure that they have the most product so that they are covered nicely. And I do like that this is medium to full coverage. As well as it does have SPF 15, so it is perfect for an outdoor workout or just throughout the day where you might be inside and out, got your skin protected. And I love using this sponge because it just helps everything blend in nicely. And look at the color match, guys. It's so radiating, look at this. <laughs> All right, how are we looking? Good? All right. So for my brows, I'm gonna be using two different products. First up, we have the Colorstay Brow Pencil. Now this one's gonna go in and define my brows and give me the shape that I want. And then I'm gonna be using the Colorstay Brow Kit. Now this one is gonna go in and fill in the brows and give me a nice, finished, natural, but polished look. All right, so first I'm gonna kinda of comb up my brows. As you can see, they look real sad. Kinda of lightly shape them out to see the potential of my brows. So now we brush her in order. We're gonna take the angled end and we're just gonna outline the shape that we want. So I always like to start from the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna connect this line underneath to this line on the side here. And then I like to go in right on top. You see where it's like, my brows get kind of thin in there, so I like to start way above that. Cause I like to give myself kind of a square front. And then I'm just gonna connect that line to this line here. Okay, so that's our brow outline. Then we're gonna go back in with the brush and we're gonna slightly soften those lines out. So we've got an outline that we're working with, but we now we need to fill it in. So now I'm gonna use the brow kit. We're gonna take one side of the angled brush and apply it to the pomade. And I like to apply this in the direction that my hairs go. Now I'm gonna take the other side and we're gonna apply so you see how I turn the brush sideways so that it's horizontal and then I kind of brush upward here and then the rest, you kind of just feather it out. And so if you are one of those people that suffers from, you know, patchy brows, it's gonna be your best friend. Now we're gonna take the little spoolie brush and blend that out. There we have it. Look at her, now this brow's done. Look at where we started. Mm -mm. You couldn't tell me that this brow is not growing from my face. All right, now let's move on to the other one. Okay, I think we have brows. Now let's move on to the lips. So for the lips, we're gonna be doing a nice nude tone. Now a little tip for girls that are darker in complexion, whenever you're using nudes, it's awesome to line your lips first with a nice chocolate tone. So we're gonna be using the Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in chocolate. So I always like to start on the outside of my lips. So I'll go here, then I'll go here, and then I'll go around. Because you see right here, I don't have much of a cupid bow. So I like to fake the funk. So now when I get here, I'm gonna line just below it and create like a little X as opposed to going straight across here. Then my lips would just have no shape. And down here, I like to bring it up just a little higher than my actual lip line because we're gonna let these colors kind of blend into each other. As you can see, look, this is already starting to look like a really pretty color. 
Now I'm gonna be using the Colorstay Overtime Lip Color in Boundless Nude. So on one side we have the actual lip color, and on the other side we've got the top coat that goes in and helps the color really lock in and stay. So I like to just pat it into the middle. And just a couple at top. And then I actually like to use my finger. So now it's nice and blended. It's soft, it's powdery, it's luxurious, honey. <laughs> And now we're gonna go in with the top coat. Mm -hmm. So we've got a nice, neutral looking lip. And last but not least, we're gonna be using the Colorstay Press Powder in Translucent. Now I'm gonna be using a blending brush for this, but for me, I kind of use whatever brushes work and sit well with me, and this is one of them. And then I'm just gonna go in and lightly Set everything. And that's it, y'all. Alright guys, this is the finished look. A super natural makeup look that will keep up with your active lifestyle, those long busy days, a night out with the girls, whatever it is, it's got your back at this point. So if you guys want to find out more about the Color State Collection, then be sure to head on over to Revlon.com. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more awesome content with your girl and a bunch of other really dope creatives. So thanks for watching, guys.